As I watched Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time, something extraordinary caught my eye. The names of the previous avatars bore deep connections to indigenous African languages, each one linked to the element they represented. First, Yang Chen. The name Yang Chen mirrors the Ejigam word Yang Bei, meaning the highest, symbolizing her spiritual elevation as an airbender. Next was Kuruk, from the water tribes. In Nukemajagam, Ru means to flow, to wash, or overflowing water. It's also present in the Hausa word for water, Rua, and even in the Hebrew, Bero, referring to the primordial floodwaters of creation. Then came Kyoshi, uh, the earth of Avatar. The name Kyoshi reminded me of Nanshi, or Enzi, which in Ejagam means as earth fitting for an avatar known for her grounded nature. Finally, Roku of the Fire Nation. Roku resonated with Oku, the Igbo word for fire. His fiery persona matches the meaning perfectly. Throughout the movie, I also noticed the spirals displayed prominently. These spirals resemble the ones carved into the ancient Ejagam monoliths which are full of deep symbolic meaning. Spirals represent the cycle of life, death, and rebirth, a concept that aligns with the Avatar's reincarnation and the eternal balance of the elements. The spirals symbolize interconnectedness, the continuous flow of energy, and transformation. Just as the Avatar maintains balance between the elements, the spirals serve as a reminder of the cyclical nature of existence, a theme that resonates both in the film and in ancient African wisdom.